Hello everyone. Uh, in this uh, video, we'll see how do we do uh, or how do we apply rating scale technique in conjoint analysis with a numerical example, right? A wristwatch manufacturer desires to find out the combinations of attributes that a consumer would be interested in. After considering several attributes, the manufacturer identifies the following combinations of attributes for carrying out marketing research. So the, there are four combinations uh, the manufacturer identified. First one being the mechanism, uh, mechanism of the watch, color of the watch, and then the price after sales service. Second combination being the dial of the watch, color, the durability, warranty. The third combination being dial, uh, appearance, price, durability. And the fourth combination being mechanism, dial, price, warranty. Twelve respondents uh, are asked to rate the four combinations uh, considering the following three-point scale. One is uh, less important, uh, the scale being one. Uh, somewhat important, the scale being two. Most important, the scale being three. So their responses uh, obtained, the respondents' responses are obtained as follows. So here we are considering R number as the respondent number. So there are 10, sorry, 12 respondents. And uh, for each combination, uh, the respondents are rating. For example, respondent one rated the first combination as less important second combination as somewhat important, third combination as somewhat important. Likewise, uh, every respondent has rated about the first combination. Likewise, the second combination, third combination, fourth combination, each respondent has done their rating. Right. What is the question? We have to determine the most important and the least important combinations of the attributes. So let's move on with the solution. Uh, in step one, what we need to do is we need to assign some sort of numerical values to the scales as below. So scale, if it is less important, we are just assigning a score of one. Somewhat important, we are assigning a scale of three. Most important, we are assigning a scale of five. Then in the step two, for each combination, the total scores are added as follows. We already have the score defined, less important one, some more important three, most important five. Now we need to count for combination one, how many I had rated less important. See, combination one, less important. Here it is one, then two, then that's all. Only two people have, two respondents have rated the combination one as less important. Then somewhat important if you look into one, two, three, four, five, one, two, sorry, one, two, and then three, four, five, six. Six respondents had rated somewhat important. So I wrote here less important as two, somewhat important as six. Since the totally there are 12 respondents, definitely the most important will be four. We can verify that all again. Most important, if you look into here, eighth respondent has done it as most important, ninth has done it as most important, 11th and 12th. So four respondents have done most important. Likewise, for each combination, we are going to do the counting uh, for each of the scale. Means less important in second combination, one, two, three, then four, five. So five people have done less important. So that's what is written here. Then somewhat important for the second combination, one and two, three. So three people have done somewhat important. That means totally this is eight. That means the balance should be four only. Next, third combination. If we count the least important, sorry, less important, one, two, three, three people. Here I wrote three, then somewhat important in third combination, one, two, three, three people. So we have to return that also three. 
So three plus three six. Totally, there are six. Sorry, twelve respondents. So the balance, most important, should be of six respondents. Similarly, we are going to do it for the fourth combination also, and we obtain these results. Now we can calculate the total score by multiplying the score for the scale into the number of respondents. So one into two. We get this 2, 3 into 6, it is 18, 5 into 4, it is 20, 1 into 5, it is 5, 3 into 3, it is 9, 5 into 4, it is 20, 1 into 3, 3, 3 threes are 9, 5, 6 are 30, 1 threes are 3, 3 eights are 24, 5 into 1, 5. So then we add up those 2 plus 18, 20, 20 plus 20, 40. Then this is 14 plus 20, 34, 12 plus 30, 42. 27 plus 5, it is 32, right? So now, uh, whichever gives us the better score, that will be our most important, and whichever is going to give you the least uh, score, that will be our uh, least important combination. So we can identify that. And uh, 40, the numbers what we obtained are 40, 34, 42. So the most important is this 42. And among these three numbers, four numbers, least is 32. So that will be our least important. Most important combination, least important combination. So in case if you find this video to be useful, I request you to please like share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel so till then see you all we'll again see one more methodology what is being adopted in conjoint analysis in our next video see you all take care thank you